Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your June 2018 monthly reading. It's a general reading, so it won't resonate with everyone. If it does resonate with you, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Um, thank you to those who have already done so. Let's get started. We'll save the announcements to the end. All right. I have shuffled and prayed over the cards off camera. We'll get started with love, some love advice. You know, that's pretty much why most people, most people are here. Let's turn our meditation music down just a little bit. Okay, let's go. Thank you for the love advice for Aquarius. Aquarius, the collective, the love advice for Aquarius. Thank you, Heavenly Angels, for letting Aquarius know what they should be cognitive of in love, what they should be worried about, what they should be focused on, what's coming for Aquarius in love. All right. Let's do a five-card advice spread. All right, five card advice spread for Aquarius for love. The first card is you, right where you are, Aquarius. The second card is are you on your correct path in love? Okay, they wanted to come out together. We'll keep them. What is the main obstacle in love? What is the main obstacle in love for Aquarius? Okay, that's way too many. All right, what's helping you? What's helping Aquarius? How can progress be made? The bottom of the deck, Four of Cups. Speaks of boredom, um, missing an opportunity, not seeing what's in front of you. Still concerned about the three cups or third party situation or a situation that just didn't pan out well for you. And not seeing that the universe has something else or someone else or another dynamic here. All right. You right where you are. The king of wands. Nice. Confident. Attractive. Charismatic. A go-getter. Entrepreneur. Just... A charmer. Okay. And are you on your correct path? This could. You could have fire in your chart. You could just be taking on the King of Wands type of energy here. All right. Are you on your correct path? All right. So we've got the Death card and the Seven of Wands. Some of you may not be on your correct path. What I just heard is some of you are resisting change, resisting an ending, a new beginning, transformation. You're resisting it because of possibly of the Four of Cups. You put yourself out there before, look what happened. Got you in a situation you don't want to be in. Now you can't see that the universe is offering this, a new way of doing things maybe with a Scorpio person if not it's just hey the universe is coming in and saying it needs to be an end to a certain situation a certain mindset and you're so defensive about it what is the main obstacle the page of wands message a call to action this is the this is the okay this is the obstacle like you need you need to take action in something on something with someone this is your obstacle. You won't do it. You won't do it. You're defensive. The king of wands can be arrogant too. Stubborn. A little stubborn. Yeah, arrogant. The king of wands knows what's going on. Intuitively. But still won't let this happen. Hmm. What is helping you? The eight of wands. The arrows of love. The messages back and forth. The communication. What I just heard. The, the unspoken. The unsaid things. Somebody might really feel something. Really deep for you. It's a lot of fire energy. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. 
you might not be saying it, but they may be saying it to you in, you know, electronic communication. Communication where you guys are not face to face. Could be speaking with someone over the internet. It looks like it might be a situation where you need to let your guard down. How can progress be made? The star. <laughs> Get into your element. Get back in control of your emotions. Because you're all out of whack. One foot, one leg is on earth. One is in the water. Let go. Heal from Four of Cups energy. A lot of fire energy in Scorpio. And another Aquarius. So if... And then Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So Aquarius, it looks like something in your love life wants to happen. You, you Aquarius are not letting it happen. And it looks like maybe because there was past hurt, regret with a, a certain someone. So you've got to let it happen though. Let's look at career and finance. Thank you for the messages for Aquarius. Career and finance for Aquarius. Career and finance for Aquarius. Career and finance messages for Aquarius. Messages of love and light. Messages to govern and guide their lives. Messages that will ultimately bring Aquarius back to our creator and prayer, supplication, reverence. Are you on your correct path? What's the main obstacle here? Or, whoa, career and finance. Okay. Career and finance is popping. What is helping you? What's helping Aquarius? What's helping Aquarius? Okay. How can progress be made? Okay. Career and finance is popping. Bottom of the deck, ten of spades. An ending. Complete. I heard depletion. Ooh. Depletion and ending could be that you were blindsided with this. Let's see. You right where you are in the three of hearts. This is caution in how you say things and, and what you say. Some of you may be holding on to situations. Some some of you regret saying something. Career and finance. Are you on your correct path? Four of diamonds. Okay. Um, a large sum of money. Winning the lotto, um, there's, there's just a large sum of money. This can even be inheritance here. You're building your stability with the four. Fours, of course, are about stability. So something comes in and stabilizes the energy here, money-wise, career and finance. What is your main obstacle? The Jack of Diamonds, the Eight of Clubs. Okay, so the Jack of Diamonds in the playing card deck talks about a dishonest, untrustworthy person. Um, this also could be an offer. An offer coming in. It's coming in quickly with the Eight of Clubs. Or you're dealing with a dishonest person. You have a rapid communication with them. And it's probably in regards to the trouble and jealousy that, you know, rests between you two or the relationship. And it could be a, a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. This is the main obstacle for maybe this large sum of money here. What is helping you? The two of hearts, a successful relationship. Someone who mutually wants to um, partner with you and feels the same way that you do about a situation. 
it could even be reconciliation that brings about some large sum of money watch out for someone who's dishonest and trustworthy or this just could be an offer coming in but I don't see an offer being your main obstacle I don't know how can progress be made seven of spades yeah this is dishonesty seven of spades talks about the loss of friendship the need to cut ties with someone or something so it might be this dishonest person spouse friend whomever um there's an ending here with the ten of spades maybe because this person just and this could be in business they haven't been honest in business you know and it's a need for you to go ahead and cut it off what's helping you is a successful relationship all right okay let's get some advice cards for Aquarius thank you Heavenly Father for three advice cards for Aquarius three advice cards for Aquarius health care change some of you need to get in the tennis space talks about surgery it talks about recovery also uh, I know that was help that was career and finance but but uh, health to tennis space talks about low energy recovering from a surgery recovering from um, illness so some of you might need a change in health care uh, get a second a third or fourth opinion do your own research um, this could be also some of you just needing to um, change some of the things you're doing at home sentimental feelings All right we did have the three of hearts talks about regret not saying things you know adult children that popped off popped out off camera for you guys some of you have young adult children okay memories under the deck retirement memories could be of past old hurt, hurtful situations we have the star card and then we also have the four of cups those are polar opposite four of cups is i'm still remembering those three cups that didn't serve me i don't see what's in front of me i don't see any offers i don't want it i'm too concerned about what happened in my past star card is i'm healing from my past i'm engaging in restoration um newness wish fulfillment of what I really want but I think the old memories just keep resurfacing where you can't let something really good come in for you Aquarius some of you adult children we did have that page of wands there for some of you that could be the obstacle um, um some your children could be the obstacle for you young adult children um, or grown ass children too I think that just speaks to a certain number of Aquarius <clears throat> the children are really um, hindering something or holding something up I think mentally not actually physically for you sentimental feelings for some of you it's about leaving a job leaving a position that no longer serves you but at the same time it um, this this career this job it fed you not just quote-unquote fed you but um, you learned a lot there's a lot of experience gained there there pro probably was even friends made um, so the sentimental um, value there of the job you know it's there you can't help but have some type of sentiment here um, but 
retirement also of course it speaks about retirement some of you are going into retirement and that's where the sentimental feelings and the memories come in at um, but then some of you are um, retirement also speaks about the retirement of how many hours how much time effort you put into a certain job situation you may retire from a full-time job and go to part-time because you're able to do that uh, either uh, financially able to do that or you know it, you feel like it's just time also talks about even a, a job change to retirement so um, I think that pretty much ties in with everything that ten of spades also could be that ending and that career finance you know it's it's um your feelings are still involved there but you know you need to make the change Aquarius if this resonated with you please like share comment subscribe to the channel it's much appreciated um, it looks like you have some good energy for the month of June let whatever's gonna happen happen know that you're on your right path the star card you showed up so this is full on for you let it happen um, get in the comments and let me know what you think or what's going on with you okay um, my website should be back up I will make a little video about the website being back up but if you would like to book a reading just send me an email all the information is below even pricing and the time frame okay so Aquarius you know when in doubt pray I am praying for you pray for me as well take care until mid-June bye for now